We asked you in a previous video if you know who this woman is. No, it's not Che Guevara's comrade Tamara Bunke. Yes, it's Monica Ertel, the Avenger of Che, and here's why she's remembered that way. But Monica was the favorite daughter of a top German Nazi who became a revolutionary socialist and killed one of Che Guevara's executioners. And she grew up around a lot of other Nazi families that settled in Bolivia, such as the infamous Klaus Barbie, who you can learn more about in this video. In 1969, Monica made a radical break from a Nazi family. She divorced her upper class Bolivian husband and joined Che Guevara's guerrilla army, the ELN, the Ejército de Liberación Nacional. And she joined the ELN two years after Che had been murdered here in Bolivia in an assassination most likely orchestrated by a dad's mate, Klaus Barbie again. And in the guerrilla, she was given the nom de guerre Inilla, which in Quechua and Aymara means young girl. And she soon became romantically involved with Che's successor, Inti Peredo, who would also soon be executed. Now, one of the men who was involved in both the death of a lover and comrade Peredo and the death of Che was Roberto or Toto Quintanilla. So Monica decided to use a German passport to avenge both of their deaths. And in 1971, Quintanilla was working in the Bolivian consulate in Hamburg. Monica flew to Germany, arranged a visa appointment with Quintanilla himself. And then once in his office, she whipped out a gun, shot him three times in the chest, and reportedly the bullet marks left the shape of a V which some say is a victory. And next to Quintanilla's body, the police found a note reading victory or death, which was the ELN slogan. She escaped back to Bolivia, but had left behind her gun, handbag, scarf, and glasses. And these are the police photos of them. However, not done with avenging the deaths of her comrades, she soon began plotting the kidnap of Klaus Barbie, who's often believed to have been Quintanilla's puppet master. But then in May 1973, at the age of 35, Monica was ambushed, executed, and a body left in an unknown location. Hey, what a life. 